Hello and welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival. My name is Spange. Today we're going to be focusing on a lot of exploration, a lot of salvaging, and just generally messing about and seeing what happens. And uh, so we're going to start off with tripping down some stuff, and then we're going to go check out Polaris as well and see what they're all about because we picked them up in the last episode. So um, we should probably see what they're on about, and uh, maybe we can do some trading with them or something. Oh, well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Polaris Territory. Um, we have Sanctuary, I think, is on the left here. We do. And we've got a couple of big Polaris industrial-looking like buildings here, which is great. Um, okay, so we're over here at Polaris because uh, I want to see what we have available from the traders here. What we can actually sell, if anything, as well. Um, you know, because it might be that we they're just the vanilla traders. And uh, we probably won't have much to sell at all. Or they've got quite a few nice little selections of things. Let's go and find out, shall we? Yeah, it's the bustling market of sanctuary. Hello, hello, hello. MA Corp. So this guy, interesting that he sells EVA boosts. Um, we don't really need one anymore unless we, we're not in immediate risk of going into space, you know? But look, ah, uh, ingots. <laughs> but they're so expensive. <laughs> they're so expensive. Look at that. 1300 for a Neo ingot. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. But it also makes sense given the nature of the scenario, I suppose. Um, hang on a second. I've got a bug attacked me. Let me put that in the fridge before it spoils. Um, and then everything else goes in here. Cool. Yeah, we've been out. Like I said, boring, digging, salvaging. I've got some great stuff to show you in the repository once we're done. Okay, pistols, adrenaline shots. So these are basically the vanilla ones, aren't they, by the looks of it? Uh, no custom traders. Not selling, like, scrap parts and stuff like that. That would be so cool if they were. Advanced salvage tool, though. That's, that's different. Um, Pre-ethanol. But they're selling the parts and stuff which is good and they're probably a lot cheaper than the ingots like two uh credits for a steel plate where well, i think it's 10 steel plate or something per ingot or whatever it works out i, I can't remember what it is but yeah that might be cheaper just buying these components because these seem to be <laughs> much cheaper than the ingots themselves which you know you just turn into those components anyway isn't it so all right so polaris maybe a little bit of a bust here have a little look Raw goods, fertilizer, robotics, stuff like that. I think I've got a bunch of Optronics, actually. Maybe we can make a bit of quick cash here. Oh, it's just spare parts. I'm not sure what spare parts are used for, if anything. Commodity item can be sold. Well, there you go. That answers that then, doesn't it? Components used to make exploratory devices. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so I uh, picked up a couple of those SVs that were loitering around at the end of the last episode. We've got three GAT cannons. Oh, yes. Lift thrust and descent thrust and these graviton thrust drives. These are interesting. They're actually part of the exploration tree in the tech tree. Basically, it's a gravity-based propulsion system that provides horizontal thrust in multiple directions. So, left and right, forward and backwards. And then, which means you just need up and down thrusters. Right? So, that's pretty cool. Um, we might actually be able to build an SV from the components we've got, plus a generator fuel tank and stuff that we could already manufacture, I think. Um, well, actually, can we? I don't even know. Uh, engineering, small vessels, uh, generators and stuff, I think, yeah, they're, they're coupled under here, under the HVSV, so we can actually, we could actually build an SV today, that's pretty cool, and um, this guy is selling a bunch of meds, or oh, you know, we can sell him a bunch of meds, armors, boosts and stuff, he, he is selling uh, the commodities, okay, why it's that way around, but alright, whatever. Uh, so I can't actually sell him spare parts. He's buying. He's he, he's selling spare parts, not buying spare parts. I always get them mixed around, and I still get mixed around even after this many bloody hours of play. I still get them mixed up. Buy and sell is backwards in my mind. It doesn't make sense. Uh, anyway, there's no more traders up there. I don't believe. Uh, and then there is a medical trader, I think, in one of these buildings. See this one? No, that's cargo. Uh, anyway, where is he? Yeah, here we go. Here he is. Uh, so this guy will buy and sell 
all the meds and stuff. So actually, if we are in danger, providing we can actually make some money, of course, because, you know, zero, um, then we can come back here and heal up and stuff. Cannot access other faction. That sucks, dude. Can't use their medical facilities. Boo. <laughs> Absolute boo. All right, well, there we go. We've got Polaris. We've got some traders. We could possibly use them for various means. It's good to know that they're here. Can't use them right now, but that's fine. Let's get back into uh, my explorer here. And uh, we'll continue having a little explore around the planet. I've got, you know, 100, 100 minutes or so of power in this thing. So I want to use it uh, to just sort of explore, basically. Find out what is out there. What is going on? What can we find? Is there good stuff? Already we found those graviton thrusters. Already we found those gatling guns. Um, now with the gats great uh but i think the ammunition <laughs> to to use them we would have to have that unlocked in order to unlock 15 mil bullets so it's all very well having the gats i don't think that they're any use at the moment which is a shame but it is what it is right okay we'll have to stick with junk turrets basically because that's all we can make uh, the ammo for so it looks like we've got some junk storage small wreckages uh, yeah, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, hello. Red things. Xerox, potentially. Have a look at the small wreck uh, wreckage, then the small junk storage, maybe. Small wreckage, I'm expecting. Oh, hello. It's just leaping off the ground. Now, um, that means that it's part of a CV, by the looks of it. These are CV blocks. Which is interesting, but they're all destroyed. Uh, yeah, so they're not whole blocks, if you know what I mean. Apart from the glass. And these front ones look okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave that. It's all just iron, steel plate and stuff. Had a crate in it, so that'll do. That'll do me. Um, I saw some robots. Somebody said that I should probably have a look at which direction the robots are going in once they've salvaged some wreck. And that could be... They have like a drop-off site or something. It'd be worth it. So let's have a little look, see, observe these guys, observe them, observe them. So they take a little bit of wreckage, take a little bit of knickknacks, and then they go that direction. No, they're still sort of swarming around. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> this might be just a, this might be you just guys having a laugh, to be honest. Hey, how long can we get Spanish to stare at the robots? <laughs> let's tell them there's a secret hidden in their movements. <laughs> there's a pattern, a code. <laughs> I see you, you bastard. I see what you're doing. Now, they might have a drop-off point or something. I don't know how long they're going to hover around here, though. Uh, so let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. We'll figure that out another time. At the moment, I'm going to concentrate on just getting through some junk and exploring stuff. All right, so junk storage. I think this is actually, like, a habitat. Now, I, I, uh, you would think that you could use this as a base. It would make a great little base, right? They've already got a door on it, it's sealed and stuff like that. But let me show you something that makes this not a good base. Show airtight blocks. Great work. Thanks, Elion. Okay, show airtight blocks is broken. Okay, moving on. Never mind. Basically, the floor is not airtight. Okay, is what I was trying to show you. <laughs> oh, look at that. Reclaimed structure fuel. Fuel extracted from capital vessel or base fuel tank is toxic uh, admixture of various energy sources as such. It can only be reused in capital vessels or base fuel tanks. Well, that's fine. We can pop that in the base. Um, and we got some oxygen here as well. I'm going to take that as well. Okay, so we should be able to pour this place. Yep, let's core it from the outside. Boom. Funny how that core grows size, you know, when it needs to. <laughs> we are definitely going to salvage these guys though. Um, I think they're slightly too big to fit into the base. It doesn't really matter anyway. But they come with a lot of cobalt alloy. Really good stuff. Electronics. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we'll take the door as well because it's got mechanical components in it. Everything else around here will just give us steel plates, which we can get from pretty much anywhere. So let's move on. Oh, hey. Hey, you're volunteering your giblets. Thank you. I appreciate the giblets. All giblet donations are welcome. Come here. Oh, hello. Expecting you to move past slightly quickly. Was that an Optronics? Hey, Optronics! Okay, we, I think we've got some at base, so at least we know we can go 
Oh, no, never mind. We can't sell them, can we? Because the droid's only selling them, not buying them. Bastard. Never mind. Scrap that point. Uh, okay, let's see what else we can find. The Devonese of Zuraxian scumbags down there, so we have to be careful. Uh, we've got some hover vessels and SVs up ahead. Well, well, well. What do we have here? We have a crashed capital vessel. Oh, yes. Now, my hover vessel right now is a little full. But uh, look what I see right there. Cannon turret. Oh. Oh. Cannon turret. Um, That's lovely. Or oh, is a generator. We've got bits and bombs in it. This is not in a good way. This thing is not in a good way. Not a lot here. <laughs> the deco blocks, it would seem, is the other feature. Oh, well, I didn't die. I think the uh, the deco block saved it, which is an outrage. Frankly, I'm here for giblets. So give me your giblets. Right, thank you. Okay, um... Yeah, a lot of broken blocks. There's not a lot. I wonder if there's stuff underground, you know? Stuck in the ground. This is a surprising, a surprising find because I thought... Oh, it's powered, look. I thought that all these... Well, not all. I suppose that's probably a... Probably a... I thought all the CVs in Star Salvage were above the surface, ones that you could recover and take home and restore and stuff, but this one is very much in the ground and very much a POI as far as the game is concerned. So it's not going to be one that I can lift, but I can definitely take bits off of it. I can't right now, everything is full and these parts are too heavy to do anything with. Um, what I might also decide to invest in is a drill of the handheld variety while I can drill around it a little bit with my hover vessel's single mechanical drill to say dig out things like that turret and stuff going inside and digging out the inside probably not anyway so that's good we've discovered a crashed capital vessel here that is at least going to get us a thruster you know <laughs> so good news everybody right there's another SV to my right let's go and check that out a little bit um, I might poke the Xerox territory just to see what we're up against over there. Is it um, proper bases? Is it defense towers? What have we got? Oh, look at the size of this thing. Ah, uh, yes, it's the Star Flyer. Okay, so I've already actually salvaged one of these anyway. There's not actually a huge amount in them, and I don't think I can take any more of the, the components. But I think the most important thing on this thing... Oh, well, the last one had it, but this one doesn't. This one seems to have... A different selection of things. Oh. oh, a doggo. Sit the F down, dogster. This one, yeah, definitely has a different selection of things available inside it. Um, yeah, we are pretty much full. I'm not going to even bother. Look at all the RCSs. Oh my god. <laughs> so it doesn't have the jet thruster, but it has the RCSs. And it has fuel tank as well. Do we can grab that? No, we, well, bullsies. Okay, we will come back for that. And we've got to come back for the CB anyway. Stuff. So let's get back to base. Offload our stuff. Take inventory. Plan our next move. Okay, welcome back to base. So, okay. Um, I'm probably going to have to organize this a little bit. I've got a couple of extra cargo crates that I've just created here. So I'm thinking I'm going to organize this stuff into parts and crafting materials uh, because at the moment it's getting a bit messy and I'm struggling to keep track of everything. Good news is that we're up to 35 military scrap, so we might actually be able to create our minigun turret now. Let's sort the storage out first. Oh, one quick check. Three days until the next Xerax attack. Okay, good. We have a bit of time. Lovely. Um, yeah, let's get a couple of crates here and stick them on their ends like that. And slap them there. Okay. So let's organize everything a little bit here. And then we'll have this guy as um, art. This guy as crafting. And this guy as kind of like misc, I guess, for now. Um, maybe fuel. 
but we don't need a whole box for fuel right now. Okay, so let's access MISC and uh, we'll sort this out. Just like that. There we go. Okay, so MISC, we've got like ammo and fuel, meds, repair tools and stuff in that. Parts, parts, and crafting. Yeah, the crafting supplies. Lovely. Oh, and some parts, it would seem, <laughs> that I missed. There we go. Always worth a second look. Okay, so we're a little bit of organized now. Lovely. Let's see what we can do about that turret for the roof. We also need a um, an ammo box. Be aware of that as well. And I'm not sure if we can get one of those yet. Let's switch this to crafting and output to parts. Hmm. So it looks like an ammo box might be missing. And large junk cannon is still not having it. Looks like military scraps. 75. Seriously? That went up? <laughs> Is it me or did that go up? Projectile turrets are locked, unfortunately. Uh, What happened to... Was it the hover vessel junk turret that was 25? Oh, it is. Look, 35 military scraps for an improvised minigun turret. Which is... Which is... uh Okay, yeah, because it's 25 for those and 35 for those. So we definitely need like 70 or so military scraps. Even to just get one for our base... Youch. And for some reason, the minigun turret isn't appearing there. Did I even unlock it? Thought I did. It's under salvaging. Ah, yeah. This minigun turret is for hover vessels and small vessels. So, base weapons then? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Because certainly not under the base tech tree. There are no weapons under there. So, seriously? Yeah, it's under vehicle combat. <laughs> oh no. So, okay. We may need to invest in maybe some little hover vessel turrets. Little turrets that... Okay, maybe... Okay, do you know what? Let's just go ahead and stick a freaking gun on our hover vessel. Uh, this thing fires what? Junk shards. Ooh, 15 mil bullets. Interesting. I don't need... Well, that is interesting, because I've got three Gatling guns to sat in there that I could equip to uh, a vessel of some sort. Mm -mm -mm. Right, junk shards is what it fires, though. Um, so let's set you to misc. And uh, could you output just like 100 junk shards, please? Good. Okay, that'll keep you busy for a little while. Uh, so now that we can put our turret... On the hover vessel let's go ahead and just do that i don't expect miracles out of this thing mine but uh, it's better than nothing right where should it go oh that's awkward isn't it either overlaps at the back or overlaps at the front front it is okay there we go uh and then we've got an ammo box in here already there it is so we can go to misc and offload the junk parts into that thing turn this on And it should reload, so we turn off predators, everything else is fine. Okay, good. We can access the turret, there we go, and reload it. We have a gun. Brilliant. <laughs> it's basically just a pistol. It's a pistol turret. Okay, well, you know, it's something, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm probably better off taking on drones with my chainsaw. I don't know. <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, it's uh, it seems to me that we are able to make 15 mil bullets uh, from nitrocellulose and plates. So we should probably go ahead and make some so that we have some. Uh, because in the box of parts, like I said, are three Gatling cannons. Now, those three Gatlin cannons were better off on an SV. But for now, I'm going to sl slap them on the uh, HV here in a similar sort of asymmetrical style to how I've got uh, the drill here. So, see what I can come up with. Yeah, there we go. A uh, haphazardly mounted Gatling gun on the side of the hover vessel. <laughs> I've textured it to make it look like properly junked on the side, which is, you know, pretty much in keeping with the scenario here. I like that. It's a bit of a story on that one. 
Uh, okay, so we've got the haphazard uh, drill on one side. This thing is becoming an absolute Frankenstein's monster of a hover vessel, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. Uh, okay, I'm getting hungry, so let's see. I've got some bread, I guess. I could eat some bread. Um, now, one of the things in, in Star Savage is you can actually reconstitute food as well, which is really cool. I'm going to make myself a sandwich. That's probably food 35. Food. Uh, I should have gone for the salami. I should have gone for the salami. Never mind. I saw sandwich, got excited. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I wish the bug meat, once cooked, turned into like ham or something. I don't know. That we could use in other recipes. But I think once the bug meat is cooked, that's it. You can make spider egg soup if you have enough spider eggs. Kill some spiders, purified water, and you're done. But reprocessed food here, you can make from um, boiled food. Now, it, it's good enough to give you 30 food, and that's about it. It doesn't give you anything. It's very unappetizing, you know, obviously. Um, but we need to unlock that. It's in, I believe, salvaging tree. Somewhere along here. Yeah, there it is. Level 10 reprocessed food. Quite a nice little touch. You can use... Um, Obviously, use spoiled food as an actual food source. I like that. Uh, improvised shield generator could be quite good, although I suspect we we'll probably need also a pentaxid tank for that, and I'm guessing that is in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is, level 7. Okay, how far are we off level 7? We can't be that far. Mind you, we have... Oh, yeah, we are level 7. Look, level 9, actually. Halfway to 10. Okay, so I ran out of CPU available to strap on any more of the Gatling guns there or anything else. So, which is fine. We we have unlocked the CPU extender for hover vessels, and there it is, the the T two. Uh, but it requires a flux coil, and uh, yeah, we don't have a flux coil. <laughs> we don't have a flux coil, so we need to go out and find one. I'm assuming, but I don't know where to look or even that, or if it even is even possible to get one on the starter planet. There's a lot to explore still, so it's entirely possible. Um, I'm also not sure, you guys may be able to tell me, but did we spot a flux coil in the traders up here? Perhaps. I might need to go back and double check that. There were a bunch of components in there, but I don't think they were particularly advanced. Anyway, um, now I'm torn a little bit between going out and continuing exploring in our current hover vessel. With its 15 mil bullets, of course. And then we have a small ammo box, and we have... Some 15 mil rounds, look at that. Yes, that'll keep us safe for a little while, won't it? That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, do you know what? We're going to go out in this. We're going to go out in this. We're going to go exploring a little bit more exploring. Let's see what we can bloody find. Let's go the other way this time. Let's go this way. Because uh, there looks like there's actually some territory over here of a faction I have never seen before. A light sort of bluey kind of squares over here. So are they hostile? Are they friendly? Let's go find out. Look, it's just one building. Whatever it is, is one of them. Mm, I'm slightly worried these guys are like legacy or something. Oh, here we go. Unknown faction. Neutral. Okay, so at least they're not going to shoot at us straight away. Not a lot over here, really, in terms of wreckages and stuff. Oh, hello. There goes that tree. Uh, but there's a few coming up now. What is base? This base is a salvage yard. Oh, nice. Hey, I wonder if this is where all the robots come back to. Perhaps. 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 Mind you, they shouldn't really be very happy with me because I've been shooting all their robots. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go see what they're all about. Maybe they... Uh, it looks like a trader. I going to say maybe they sell salvage or buy salvage. Hmm. Very nice. Hello. Salvage too. Oh, fantastic. See, this is what I thought we might be able to find on this planet. Oh, good. Okay, so he's buying and... You can... He's buying and selling... Uh, military scraps. Interesting. Everything. Generators, fuel tanks, O2s, fridge, landing gears, ammo boxes. And then he is... He is just buying lots of thrusters, ground repulsor engines. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. I'd like to buy that sort of stuff. Polarized shields. Large thrusters. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah. Okay. It's a shame again. I'd like to buy that sort of stuff. But he's buying the CPU extenders and stuff like that as well. Okay, interesting. We could actually make a fair bit of cash off this guy because we have... I suppose once we finish building our um, immediately required vehicles, you know, to the point where we want to get them, any spare parts, we can come and sell them to this guy. This is fantastic. Really, really cool. Uh, okay. 
it's all becoming clearer now that we're able to get out and about, you know? Can't get through there. Hello, fella. Yeah, he's got lots of uh, lots of junk at the back here. <laughs> this is awesome. So cool. Okay. Salvage yard. Good to know. And there's a robot. But the robots don't appear to be, like, part of this faction. They're just their, they're their own boss, I guess. I don't know. Cool. So we have a trader out here that we might be able to sell and make a lot of money on. And then we can... Oh, there are more of them over there. And we're starting to pick up lots of salvage now. Okay. The SVs I'm particularly interested in at the moment, but um, it would be good to really kind of scout all these things, really. See if there are any good components on them. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing that... Yeah, look, there's two drills on this guy right here. In fact, a lot of this stuff we could just sell straight back to this trader. The drills, the thrusters, the deco blocks, fuel tanks and stuff like that. Scared the shit out of me, that did. <laughs> Thank you for the early warning though, turret. And the meat, boys. Meat's back on the menu once again. Excellent. I can make that salami that I failed to make last time. All right, let's see. Um, if I slap this core on here, good. It doesn't do anything to the reputation. Lovely. Um, and then there's a little bit of scrap in this harvest repository. Sweet. Cool. And then let's connect to the explorer's harvest box. Because that's 4,000. And we're going to retrieve this stuff. Let's see if we can then go and sell it to that trader. All right, I've got a bunch of stuff I want to sell to you, chappy boy. Okay, so we've got two generators. Lovely, there's a generator. Great fuel tank. Small as well. Lovely O2 tanks. I think I have some, but I forgot to put them on the bar. Never mind. Grab that. No. Nope. Okay, uh, we've got... Yeah, basically, yes, we can sell them. The scrap that we're picking up off the very ground. Just outside your very door, sir. You feel a bit robbed. <laughs> Because uh, you should. <laughs> you really should. This is fantastic. Look, we've made four grand in an instant. This is amazing. And then we could take that to the Polaris and buy some of their goodies and stuff if we wanted to. But uh, I, yeah, love that. That's so cool. Five medium thrusters. Have it. Although, in theory, I could have probably used those on my current hover vessel. But until I get a flux core, there's no more expansions going on that thing. Anyway, uh, looks like that's it. He doesn't want the drills. He doesn't want the drills or the spotlight. Well, that's fine. Good to know. Uh, but very, very good news. Anyway, that's just great. Yeah. <laughs> what a find. What a find. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's see what else we can find. We've got a whole bunch of uh, buildings and stuff over there as well. Uh, but I'm going to scout out all these wrecks first and see if we can find anything good out of those. We might have another CV wreck here, and this looks like one that's not sort of buried underground either. This, yeah, it's definitely CV blocks. I think it might just be another one of these ones where you've got a crate inside, and that's about it. Console, some glass, and everything else is destroyed blocks. Is that a grow light? It's just a regular light. Yeah, it's all either just destroyed blocks. Most of it's destroyed blocks. Some large blocks, but I mean, I don't really think there's much value in that. Moving on. Ooh, hello. Look what I just found here. Ha 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 ha. Just what I needed. A D2 extender for a hover vessel. Who would have thought? What luck. <laughs> um, let's see if we can slot you. Right there, sunshine. Lovely. Straight in. Smashing. <laughs> we got twelve thousand CPU to play with now. Brilliant. Well that was a that was a bit of luck, wasn't it? Uh I'm just gonna take the sort of raw components off of this thing, really. The boxes. Or oh, another charge. I need that because this is my last charge. That was lucky as well. 
the boxes, the thrusters, the RCSs, fuel tanks, generators, that sort of stuff. The raw blocks, like if, uh, if I'm digging, I'll salvage them for steel plates. But they're kind of worthless at this point. So I'm going to save the charges that I've got because I'm running out for the larger components. Especially those that I can sell. Alright, got out of that one just in time. It's being eaten by the ground. <laughs> Alright, giblets. Damn it, it's got stuck on something. Yeah, that's a new one, I gotta admit. Thanks for coming back. Appreciate it. Military scraps as well, much appreciated. What is going on? <laughs> Is this going to be, is this an Elyon please fix? Or is this a know-it-all DM please fix? I don't know. But uh, anyway, the ground ate the SV, but I got my core out of it just in time <laughs> before it went underground. Anyway, moving on, I guess. Oh, there's something over there. It looks like another large wreckage. Um, let's go check it out. I think the old cargo box is getting a little full because this thing is going very slowly all of a sudden. Yeah, it looks like a little look like shuttle or something. That's interesting. Big doors on it though and a box lovely some bullets and a passenger seat and a console that's about it i think isn't it yep oh all right it's going off again Maybe spiders or doggos doggos where'd he go actually got any ammo on this Get him, turret. Get him. Uh, meat and giblets. And uh, perhaps maybe just a few more giblets. Wait, what am I there? What am I there? Honestly. Right, there we go. Um, right, let's put the meat in the fridge and let's move on. Okay, our next uh, point of intrigue is a jerry-rigged defense turret. Currently, it's public. But this is exactly what I was thinking about making a little, uh, well, a little HV defense turret, you know? Um, so I can actually just claim this as mine. Private. There we go. And uh, there we go, it's mine. <laughs> it's just like that. It's mine now. Um, Alright, let's grab this. How much space have we got in here? Not a lot. Okay, so this might actually fill us up and we might have to turn around and go home, but um, let's see what we can do. I want all of this. I want the landing gears. I want the fuel tank. Not too worried about the blocks, of course. If I was going to do it, I'd make sure that the generator and fuel tank were actually in the armor, but yeah, whatever. Oh, laser rifle rounds. Oh. Right, here we go then. This is a minigun turret. This is an actual proper minigun turret. This isn't like a... Oh, no. Um, can I carry it myself? Yes, I can. Lovely. Okay, that's actually an SV turret, by the look of it. Yeah, SV. Damn. Okay, I was hoping it would be a, a, a HV one, but uh, there we are. Beggars can't be choosers. We have a minigun turret for an SV. It's almost like the game is telling us something. Can't from the life of me think what though. <laughs> That's interesting. Why is this crash shuttle here coming up as red? It must have a core inside. Oh, this looks like one of the little um, shelters from vanilla. There might be some good stuff in here, actually. Have a little look around. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've got to take the core out and put my own in to claim it, basically. But it's got power, remarkably. Oxygen. It'll take. Yeah. Faction core. Grow plots. Grow light, grow plots. I mean, that might be one of the next things I need to do is think about 
food production and stuff, to be honest. Um, surviving on basically just energy bars at the moment. <laughs> and an occasional sausage and a bit of bread. <laughs> uh, it's not healthy. Not healthy. Well, there's also a large solar panel here as well. So, I'm in interspace territory, but I don't think it's an interspace um, structure. The other thing is, can I actually destroy the core with the weapons I've got? I don't need to. I need. I can just multi-tool it. Bingo. There we go. Slap a claim core on it. Mine now. And then let's see if we can take up. I don't know if I've got enough room for this, but I'll take the grow light. Grow plots. Yep. Um, may as well. May as well. Oh, now we're out. Damn. Uh, oh, I'm not even connected. <laughs> that might do it. Let's connect to that. There we go. I'll do it. Take that. Take that. 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 May as well. Take it all. And uh, I'll just salvage the box out. Just a few steel plates, isn't it? Okay. Here we go. Lovely. Oh, and the solar panel. Most important. Oh, jackpot. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. This is an SV. This is an SV. Okay, so I'm not sure if jackpot is the right word, but this is like the mother of all salvages I've found so far. And uh, what I'm trying to do here is circumnavigate the planet. Now, this entire area is just a freezing, barren wasteland of nothing. <laughs> uh, looks like we're going to be heading into Xerox territory next as well, before we can make the last leg around this planet. But this thing just caught my eye, because it's got a very large jet thruster on it, for one thing. And in, it, in itself, it is also very large. Uh, I don't know how it flies, I've got to be honest. <laughs> I don't know how it flies. But... Um, Maybe maybe my head's still stuck in Reforge land. Look, small jets as well as fuel tanks and stuff like that. I don't have the uh, carrying capacity right now to really take advantage of this. Uh, but it is a massive boat for an SV. It's huge. Inside. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, there you go. You got an idea of like the storage now. This is a roomy, a roomy SV. I don't know, CPU-wise to thrust ratio just doesn't make sense to me. But it is, it is I think, vanilla in, in a lot of ways uh, when it comes to CPU and stuff. So maybe, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's not so bad. Uh, maybe it can work. We are full, though, and we can't take any of this stuff, apart from the little bits of obs. There's a pentaxid tank. There's a pentaxid tank. Okay. That suddenly just got a hell of a lot more important. Room for a warp drive as well. This is a ammo repository, storage repository, 18,000. Yeah, I don't know how this thing flies. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't know how it flies. But um, this might be worth actually recovering. It is a big project though. And a lot of the thrusters, I'm going to have to rebuild from scratch guys tucked in there behind blocks and stuff you see um this is only that big one and it's going to need all four of the big buggers to actually fly isn't it yeah she ain't gonna fly she's in a bit too much of a sorry state but if i can come back and take those components ammo i would love to recover this thing is so big though it's gonna take ages a side project maybe um that's an excellent find. Junk small vessel over here. I might waypoint it um, just so I can find it again. Large SV. And we're going to 
Um, not put a waypoint there. I'm just going to put a little SV symbol, but I'll be able to find it on the map, but it won't appear on my HUD. So it won't clutter up my HUD, because I suspect I'm probably going to put a lot of these things down over time to highlight things that catch my eye. Oh, wrong button. That's a good one. There's loads of larger SVs, but yeah, that is the... That is the thick of Xerax territory right in front of us now. Okay, there's another SV down here. Let's have a little look around. The cheetah bike. Finding a lot of these little rubbish HVs now. I just sort of get into a point where it's not worth my time to salvage them. Junk short-ranged warp drive. Oh! Hold the phone! It's just like sitting out here on its own. What the hell, dudes? What the beans? Wait, what the? There she is. I want that. I want that. Oh, God. I've got to make room. I've got to make room. Uh, okay. So we've got, got these little cargo boxes on the sides here, which can take a little bit. And then we've got the fridge. We've got the am small ammo box that's going to be full, unfortunately. Ah, uh, it's got a bit of space. Go on. Right. Let's see if this will work. My warp drive! Go away! My warp drive! Be gone! Yeah. Can we take it? If I if this doesn't work, then I've wasted a warp drive. I'm just going to have to throw stuff away. Ah, uh, shit. Shit! <laughs> going to have to throw stuff away. Uh, player inventory. Go! Nope! Okay. Deal blocks. Trashed. And what else is weighs a lot? Oh yeah, let's go. Uh, volume top. What's the what's the highest volume? These things. Tech equipment. Uh, that's a shame. Trash. Just deco. Bingo. Got it. <laughs> Sucks to trash things. It really does. But it was necessary. We have a warp drive. <laughs> and actually, let's go back to the SV and grab that pentaxi tank as well. Now that I've got a little bit extra space in here. Those tech tech blocks just took up so much. Oh my my core my core my core. Yeah. Not going to be the first and last time that happens. Oh! Shit. Wow. That blew up. Is there anything in that? Where is it a bit of Yeah, put the core in it, powered on. <laughs> blew its generators. <laughs> Instantly. Okay, we've got the pentaxid drive. Okay. We have a warp drive and a pentaxi tank. Oh, my dude. Happening. Happening. This is excellent stuff. Um, it's my thing. There it is. Get out of here. Thank you very much, Mr. Big Ship. We will be back um, at some point, maybe, with the ability to take that enormous freaking thruster off of you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the cool looking SV, though, isn't it? Like straight out of Star Wars or something. Okay. Uh, right, I have to successfully and timidly navigate Xerox space now. Um, oh, being hungry. Eat a couple of my energy bars, running out of those as well. So I can always find a patch of uh, corn dogs and pick them up and make some more. Like this patch right here. Look at that. It's almost like bait. The you ask and the world would provide. Uh, what have we got here in Xanaxian scumbag territory? Lots of level 1s, a level 3, a level 2, something or other. And these SVs here. And I have, a, I have a slight suspicion that those SVs there are going to be nice and tight. And uh, have lots of goodies in them. I'm seeing some gun turrets over there, one kilometer away. Looks like defense towers to me. Level 2. Level 3. Yeah, they look like defense towers to me. I'll go. So, junk small vessel. And then, yeah, that just looks like a normal vessel to me. Um, I suspect they're going to start shooting me at some point soon. There's a big wreckage over on the left as well. Um, let that dog go. See if we can um, get close to this junk vessel here. 400 meters. 
get ready to move. I don't think there's anything on that. That was just it's like a same as one of those other little small vessels. Nothing special. That wreckage also looks like one of the old wreckages that we've already discovered. So again, nothing special. There's a hover vessel down there. That junk SV up ahead there, though. No way I'm getting anywhere near that. And without taking shots. Um, but yeah, there's a hover vessel down there, but it's past the turret. Do we can loop round and see if we can get behind it? And let's not forget, I've got no shields. There is no armor on this thing. It is, uh, it is made of paper mache. <laughs> Three hundred meters. Three hundred sixty. Three hundred seventy. It's not firing yet. It is pointing at me though, I think. Looking a little angry. Oops. Oops. I think we might be okay. And that little junk hover vessel there is, again, nothing particularly exciting, I don't think. It looks like a little hover bike. It is a little hover bike. 350 meters away from that turret. I'm going to pass. I got nine minutes of fuel left in this thing. We've got a lot of the planet left to circumnavigate still. Let's go. Get out of here. We got a drone. We have a rocket drone. And this is probably a really bad idea. I mean, not as bad idea as I thought it would be. We seem to be guarding this hover vessel here, and I want to know why. What is it about this particular armor vessel that requires drone presence? I think I've seen one of these before. O2, O2 tanks, there's some nice thrusters on it. Okay, I'm not seeing anything particularly exciting here. Maybe it was just a coincidence. Wi-Fi RCSs, there's some, there's a large hover engine there, uh, a gap, a detector, and a cockpit. Unless underneath that cockpit is a shield generator, for example, that could be worth it. No, it's just nothing. Hardened steel blocks. That's it, okay. Leave it. Never mind. Still killed a drone. That's fun. Anyway, I've made it back to the Polaris Sanctuary build now, and I'm going to go ahead and buy myself an insulation boost and a radiation boost, only because while I was out and about, I was getting radiation and uh, and cold, even in my environmental suit. So I'm going to get those two. Um, I'm also see if I can get. I think I can, an EVA while I'm at it, may as well, just in case we do actually end up going up into space soon. And the other thing we might want to invest in is some Promethean refined, but it is uh, very expensive as you can see. Uh, so I'm going to leave that until I know I can't find it anywhere on the ground. I suspect mountains and the bottom of lakes is probably where I want to be looking for that sort of thing. Um, you don't have it useful you could barely see over the freaking thing mate right i'm gonna get some night vision goggles because again i am struggling to see in the dark and the sandwich charges might be a good idea as well let's get a few of those because i've burnt through them and i don't have any promethean yet now there's no flux course here i thought so and we just wanted to double check again just in case i had missed them but yeah there's no flux course okay 
Fair enough. I think everything else is good to go. Thank you very much, Polaris. As always, mediocre at best. Um, I would like to buy some food from these guys, but I don't think they're actually selling. Unless I missed there's like a food trader somewhere out here, but I don't believe there is. Alrighty, so we made it home. Everything is in its boxes where it should be. And, well, we have quite the collection of bits and bombs that we can use now. I think an SV is definitely in order. Although I do need to go out and get, see if I can get some more of these bad boys. Let's have a little look, see, at the engineering side of things, though. Because we have 165 points to spend, we can certainly uh, pop a few sort of jet thruster things in here. Um, maybe... Oh, look, a small gravity generator. That's delightful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock that. We don't need to unlock anything else, I don't think. Now, if we use the graviton drive, that's great for a small ship, but um, I'm not sure it's going to cut it. I honestly, I don't know what the power level is on the graviton. I mean, you can get it's under the Explorer tab here, the graviton thrust drive. Um, and, uh, a gravity based propulsion system that provides horizontal thrust in multiple directions, but it is only really intended. The itty bitty little ships, because the force is 250 kilonewtons and 75 kilonewtons kilo of torque. Um, to put that into perspective, one small thruster is 75 kilonewtons, one medium thruster is 170. So, if you're relying on horizontal thrust from just the gravitational thruster, it's depending on the size of the craft, and especially if you're going to be adding something like a warp drive to it, um, I don't think it's going to cut it. So, I think we need more of these and sort of general thrusters in in, in, in general, really. Um, now, the lifting and descent thrusters, I guess, you know, we can still use those. They're just they're up and down thrusts, right? So we can use those. We've got a turret we can slap on this thing as well. Nice minigun turret. Plus also four gap cannons now. Um, so, yeah, I think we're almost there. Now, if we head back to um, where we found that big SV all the way over here, other side of the planet, a long way to go. Then we can uh, strip off the other jet thrusters and that extra large thruster, maybe if it will fit in the box. And that will be more than enough for us to get this thing moving. And we could use the jets for like reverse or even lift. I mean, use that big fat thruster for forward momentum. It should be more than enough to get us going, but it's going to be one big fat SV. I think I am. Um, I have to try and contain myself because. Uh, if I get too carried away, then we're going to end up with something massive. But ultimately, what we need is something compact, light, not too much storage because it's not that intention, but something that we can go out and get maybe uh, some advanced components, some advanced salvage or something from other worlds, the local system. Because uh, there's a trade station over here, maybe. Lily -li -li approach and so on and so forth. Maybe we can get things for a CV. That's ultimately what we need to do is find CV wrecks. Uh, and of course, we did find that CV wreck uh, earlier as well. So we need to go back and, and sort of strip what little there was on that thing. Generator and A thruster, I think. <laughs> uh, now, in regards to the base, uh, what I want to do is start thinking about food production because I am starting to run out of it. So I might have to just wander into the woods for a bit and uh, pick up some more corn dogs and stuff but I think what I'm going to do is expand out to the rear of the workshop here and build another little cube type base there um, maybe make it slightly longer try and use a bit of glass as well see if we can actually get some windows in this thing and make it start looking nice and uh, plants the grow plots so we managed to get in the end four grow plots I think because we run into another one of those crash shuttles with two grow plots in it so you know it's a start and we got grow lights as well and of course I found these guys in, weirdly, in a harvest container on a HV. So we have corn and berries and some uh, natural stimulant, but, well, not really going to ever use that, but there we go. Um, so I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're doing pretty well, all in all. And uh, I think, you know, the only way is up. Literally. Because, you know, SV time, baby. So, I hope you guys will join me in the next episode for our SV build. And the base build as well. We're going to spend a lot of, spend a lot of time here, I think. Um, but yeah, that will be in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed. And hopefully, see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.